Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here we are, touring the map Alpine Hill by Black Pat Modding. It is 390.61 megabytes of download, and this is going to be a second point I'll be mentioned during the map tour. However, <laughs> there is 16 one six required mods. Most of them are by Bernisk. Along with some others and that, but I'm not going to bother going through all the required mods because, yep, yeah, it's too much. And I really hate maps with required mods, especially when it's 16 required mods. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm still going to tour the map anyway. So yeah, description goes as following Hello and welcome to the Corinthian Alps. I hope you have fun. Welcome to Alpine Hill Map. This map from my home country, Austria, Corinthia. On this map, you have 85 fields, meadows, and forestry areas. Ranging sizes from large to small with divided sections. You'll find a picturesque village in the mountains where agriculture is still practiced. A biogas plant in supermarket, agriculture trades, fish farm, sawmill, as well as a built in productions and cell points, and much more. As a player, you will receive the starting farm with two fields and rows of vehicles and machinery. Stables are for horses, cows, pigs and chickens are also on the farm. The stable for sheep and cow pasture are located on outside the farm. You can get water from lakes and rivers. This map does have an additional crop of clover. Hoff 2 and 3, so farms 2 and 3, are as well as the bicycle Sorry, as well as the bioheating plants are purchasable throughout the farmland. The fire station can also be purchased throughout the farmland. However, the farmland is free. So, what that means is you can purchase the entire periphery. That is a very good plus on the maps. So, yeah, that is free. But, yeah, we'll talk about the PDA in a sec. So yeah, slot count. So, on all three modes when you first load in, it is 1,590 slots. So, just show, 1,590. And yeah, so without the equipment, it goes down to 1,442. Clearing the main farm we're in now, without the fences, slot count goes down to 1,363. Clean up farm 2 up the north, which we'll look at in a sec, is 1,230 without removing the fences. And clearing the third farm is 1,148 slots. Again, that's without removing any of the fences. So, yeah, just to show you what it looks like, it looks like this. And you can also remove the fire station, that is another 30 slots, so without dealing with all the fences and that, you can get slot count, slot count down to 1,118, roughly. And yeah, removing fences is like one slot on that, so you can get down to about, say, 1,100, realistically. But, anyway, so let's look at your starting equipment. So we've got some equipment, but not all. We we're set up for quite a fair bit, but not harvesting because we don't have a combine harvester. But regardless, on the small tractors, we've got the Linder Lin Track 130. We've got a Massey Ferguson MF 7S 155. For trailers, we've got the Welger DK 115. Got a Amazon Sino 4000 Super Cultivator, along with the Amazon KG 3001 Super Power Harrow. And the Amazon Centia 3000 Super Cedar. We've got a Hardy Mega 1200L sprayer. For furrow spreaders, we've got the Amazon ZATS 3200. We've got a Farmtech SuperSys 800 Surrey spreader. For mowers, we've got the Ponger Novacat 301 AMED Pro. Along with a tether, the Ponger Alpine Height 4.4H. 
uh, for our Wind Rovers, we've got the Ponder Top 342. For our Forge Dragons, we've got the Ponder Boss Alpine 251. We do have some forestry equipment with the Kessler 144ND. So, this is a transport for trees and tree forder. Where do you need chainsaws? And we got the Hoyer XB190 front loader and with a Albert farm bucket. So, going to dry mode, this is your main farm to start off with. Obviously, all of these is part of the car mods. And I've gone around and I'm 99% sure there is nothing on this map by the map maker themselves. A lot of it is, actually, no, all of it is for car mods. With the exception of productions. Which I don't get because I've looked at most of them, I'll admit, and they are exactly the same recipes and ratios as the base game version, so I'm not too sure on that. We also do have the fish farm, that is by the map maker, I will admit, as well, so... And the apple trees as well, again, apologies there, so yeah, up. Yeah, the apple trees and fish farm is by the map maker. Didn't look like that first of all. That looks like uh, one of the apple tree mods we've got enabled at the moment. Well, one of the apple tree mods you can have at the moment. Other things also put down by the map maker is some of the animal pens. So you've got your cow pastures, including. So you've got various of cow pastures and that. But yeah, you are at the limit, so that is 14 or so animal pens you can have at most, so you will need to go around and delete them as you go around, or as you go around, along with a customized sheep barn and chicken barn. Also, there is some variety of landscaping, so under our painting, so your normal textures are here. Also, we do have a dirt track, dirt track 2, forestry grounds, so yeah, that's grass, pretty sure that's part of just normals already. Got the Kofstein 01, so cobbled stones. Got the Koska, again, I do apologize if I'm buttering the is it German? I think this is. Yeah, Austria. They tend to speak German, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, basically a variety of cobstones of some variety. So, and actually, I do like these. These are actually quite nice. Wet sands as well. So, yeah, a variety of texture. So, let's put some money in. Cause, and then we'll look at the PDA. So yeah, there we go. Money's been put in, 195 mil. So yeah, we start off with plot 92, which is your first farm. Along with plot 5 and plot 2. They've got any crops, we'll have a look. No crops in the field and no fertilizer or anything on that. But yeah, as mentioned, the periphery is purchasable, and fill prices themselves are quite cheap, to be honest. I say quite cheap, they're fairly priced, actually. So, yeah, quarter of a mil, you're looking at most, I think, for the largest fields. Yeah, 200k there. 130 there. And, yeah, like, some of the forestry areas, you're looking at 81 grand. Or dedicated forestry areas. There is forestry on the periphery you can purchase for free. Yeah, 237 at most. And then, yeah, got your production areas down here. And, yeah, all of these are purchasable. Like so. But, yeah, so if we head up north, plot 91, this is going to be your second farm. And that alone costs 86 grand. So, yeah. You can see we've got your sheep barns, chicken barns and all that, cow farm, pig pen, and another cow pasture. Got your fish farming over here, so, yep, fish farming is just over here. Actually, overall, not too bad. It really goes in with the area. 
that's the thing. This is a beautiful and stunning map. Just with an asterisk of the required mods. Apart from that, I can't really complain about the map so far. Well, whether that will change as we look around, who knows. But yeah, anyways, back into the PDA. Plot 90 is your third farm, or half three. Well, at least that's how I'm classifying it as. And all the farms do have a fair few of these apple trees. Again, chicken pastures, main farm, pig pens and that sheep bars, and yeah. Also some greenhouses and cow pastures. Including also some bell and pallet storage. Which, don't recall seeing that popping up, but I'll double check. I know my correction, I did miss that, so... Yeah, actually, it does go in quite well. Blends in the map. Holds 600. And it paid off as well, which is base game version, but holds 2 million years. So yeah, that's been slightly extended. So yeah, do apologise, that is two things I have missed. But anyways. Let's hop into one of these. And then, let's have a little tour of the map. So yeah. Let's go and grab the Massey, and yeah, we'll have a little tour and map of this. Do love the little details of things like the placeable pallets and all that. And yeah, these are removable as well. So yeah, we're going to head out of here, so we're heading south. And then I think what we'll do, we'll loop around the bottom, and then we'll again loop around back up to the top. So yeah, we go down here and that. Just so that the map so it's fixed in place. But yeah, overall so far, first thoughts on the map is it is stunning, it's lovely, loves the beautiful details and that. And yeah, the only thing about the map is just the asterisks with the required mods. So yeah, that leads you up to field two to your right, which has been cloud or cultivated already. She's head back onto a track sec. So right, yeah, just leaving plots three four and yeah, we're heading onto a road now. And yeah, traffic is on, but you won't see much traffic down here. It's only really once you get into the town itself where you'll see some traffic, but yeah, just taking that view. Especially like the periphery as well. It is so well blended in. I mean, yeah, just right. Wow, the rolling hills. It is a little bit sorcery on Nash Gen, I will admit. So, yeah, again, uh, that is probably just down to the trees. If I, if I had to guess now, nah, I'll say it's down to the trees and nah, that, but. Yeah, it's losing a couple of frames now, nah, but we're still running at a very good frame rate in general, so... But yeah, so you've got one of your ponds down there to fill up. Ooh. Little tractor there. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a pond up there as well. But yeah, just taking that view. So yeah, we'll loop around and then we'll start looking around at some cell points and the town and the other farms. So yeah, just skip time for a minor little touch, just so that, yeah, get a sort of better view of the map terms with the lights in that. Of course, we're in August, first loading in, so it's gonna be sunny in that the first month you load in, so I thought, yeah, just skip forward time a little bit. Also, I forgot to show that, but Port Candor is base game, and in terms with things like collectibles, uh, there is none to speak of, and actually, let's pull over here a sec, because yeah, I've got to go on over the cell points net, and yeah, this is going to be your 500 megawatt BGA, so you've got your main station, a couple of sheds, a couple of bunker silos, three I think that is, and yeah, obviously tab is you need to purchase the land. 
So yeah, I'm just going to push that. And half volume markers turned on. There we go, that's better. So yeah, purchase speech BGA for 1.18 mil. Yep, relatively standard. And yeah, with the apple trees, not, not greenhouses. So yeah, it is a 2 to 1 ratio for the water. And yeah, it's 2 to 1 as well for water to apples for with manure. Just with that little extra requirement of manure, and that does actually increase the amount you get per month. So, however, still, what's that? 90 apples a month you can get? Doesn't seem that month much, that really. Actually, yeah, just do the math a sec. Yeah, 180 with both going and that. That's just, again, just with one. But I think that the production limit on this map is, or sorry, in FS22 is 60, I think. Just to double check, I think that is the case. Well, not double checking, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. But yeah, in terms with your cell points, that was it, that's why I pause here. So you've got your spin ring that, got your sun view, garden plot manure, pet cell, cell market over here. This is going to be like your main town area over here. And as we go around, you've got your carpentries and that, bakery and that. And in terms with your cell points, so for your grains and that, you're typically looking at the grain mill, restaurant, cell market, cell or the lime ad fertilizer production as well. Because yeah, we don't own that yet, so you can put it in there and it is a cell point. For things like your root crops and that, it's restaurant and sales market and obviously where apical, BGA or sugar mills and that. Or your seven lodge big as well, big and very big. I do want to look at those, again so that's part of the core mods and that. But yeah, you do have sell points for pretty much everything including diesel and that. Flower, yes. All your production stuff, yep. Yep, as expected. Okay, not for liquid fertilizer. Also, you got your Alps country trade for your manure. BG for your Surrey. And yep, again, the lime and fertilizer production for your lime and digest seed. And yeah, also, you got your apple juice press and that. And is that part of the required mods? No, it ain't. So we'll have a look at that as well. And your clover, there ain't a set cell point, but which is weird because, anyways, but there's plenty of cell points like the cell air containers and that, mobile utilities. So, yeah, there's plenty of cell points you can put in. But, anyway, so uh, try to avoid this map tour being like an hour long, which is a possibility because there is. A chance that, but a lot of it is just driving around and just taking the absolute beauty of the map. But I will try to keep things as concise as possible, no problems, 100% guaranteed. But yeah, this is gonna be your little Austrian village town area. Got some of your cell points now, as we've already gone over. And yeah, just also just have a quick look. And now, so yeah, I was just looking at some of our other cell points, but yeah, we'll cover those later on in that. But yeah, things like your Alps country trade and all that are further up north, but yeah, still regardless. A nice little quaint German area, not, not German, Austrian area. Got your fuel, fuel point over there. Also got your shop over here. Actually, no, that's the wrong thing in the notes. But yeah, your cell point is, or your buy point in that for your equipment in that is further up north, which will come around in a bit because it's literally just north of us, around 76 and that. But yeah, we'll cover that in a bit. So we'll, yeah, I'm gonna show it off as we're going around. Uh, anyways, let's head out of here. 
So, just coming out from where we were, I'm going to head down here, or well, up here, from south on the map. Oh uh, yeah, again, there's going to be more picturesque views than that. Also, this is going to be where some of your other productions and the areas like that are dotted about. So yeah, this is going to be your bells and that cell point. Just open the gates. So yeah, cell point trigger is here. Also, your animal deer ship trigger points there. Lovely jubbly. And yeah, there is a gate out there, so you can drive straight through. However, we're going to come out from where we came in. Yeah, for one, yeah, frame rate, I did know it was a little drop there in the frames. Ah, uh, yeah, I wasn't meant to go that way. But yeah, let's head across here and then we'll head down. We'll head up here to our carpentry net. Not the most actual room in that, but in the hoop, just have a little bump and over. So yeah, that's going to be your carpentry. And actually, now I do get the difference in that. There is a difference in terms with the look of it, but besides from that, the ratios in that are still exactly the same. So the road there is just to our right. We'll head up here. And yeah, I shall pull over here a sec. How soon have Verkulfen. Not sure what that means. Uh, yeah, not sure. Again, as I mentioned on the last map tour I just looked at. Uh, yeah, my German ain't the best, but anyways, it's going to be your bakery and that. But yeah, frame rate is if you have an issue. So yeah, maybe you may want to do is cut down some of these trees and that before playing around. Again, that's down to you. Yeah, so that is the house cell early, early. And yeah, what cell point is that for? Alright, so it's one of the cell points for things like your apples and that. And uh, so having a qu quick look, things like your cheese and butter and that, so some of your productive items as well. So that's going to be your cell point for that. Yeah, I don't know why I switched the engine off. But well, anyways, back onto the road. Oh yeah, we'll head down to field 64 and that. And then yeah, we'll resume from there. Yeah, so we're trying to get away from these some of these trees. Where the frame rate is a little bit choppy. So yeah, we're just heading down. That is your dairy there up north and that. So yeah, that's gonna be part of yeah, go up there and that on that road and that. But yeah, I'm sort of, again, skipping small little bits and that, just try to get around the map as quickly as we can. But yeah, once again, some more heavy dense forestry areas. So yeah, next we'll head up to your pellet production area. And then we'll loop around and head to the other farm. Without getting stuck in these concrete indestructible barriers. So yeah, the pellets is just going to be up here on that. And yeah, that is one of the required mods. So yeah, a few ways you can cut around. Ooh, wow. Combine Harvester. So yeah, yeah pellet production that is going to be up here. Oh, we'll screw it. We'll grab this. Or maybe I should grab the little pickup in that instead, but... Well, sort of demonstrates like your own equipment as well. And yeah, pellets is just across here. Oh uh, yeah, I think there is another pathway around. Again, a little bit is sort of like one half and that sort of links to it all now from like the main roads, but so yeah, that is your pellet production. Nice little quaint area. I think, did that, 
no, it wasn't, I don't think it was that I received an update recently, or today, was it, or was it something else, I'm sure, well yeah, back onto the main road, so yeah, we head up to our third farm, how I've played it as, or second farm as going around, but yeah, also there is contracts in that, again, I too forgot to mention, not huge payouts in that, but still, nevertheless, there is contracts to do and fields and meadows. May not be some huge payments, but over time, certainly lead up to it. And just taking a little small detour here. Or actually, we may use this cut up to half three that. But yeah, we do have a little church area here. But yeah, as mentioned already, I think there is no collectibles on the map, but again, the folio is a little bit of detail to have a little look at. Maybe the way to get climb up there and get the thumbnail before the map to our Okay, that's a little bit loud. Let's <laughs> head down here to the actual car park area. Well, should I should mess up the car park area, that is a field. Not screw it, uh, we're just going to cut across now. Ah, yeah, this is going to be leading up to our farm free net. Ah, yeah, when we leave, we will follow the main route now. But yeah, once again, got your apple trees, and yeah, you can remove them if you want. Of course, since our production is that, but that's down to you. But yeah, when I'm all about the bell and pad storage. It is a invisible barrier it is so obviously storage is empty in that. But yeah, 600 not too bad. Overall in that, like to be honest, it's actually ain't that bad, so we'll go back onto the farm track. This is will lead us to through the main farm. But yeah again this is a very Again, it is a picturesque map, it is absolutely stunning. Love to, to level of detail in terms with things like the landscaping. I ain't gonna fault that with the map maker and that. Again, things like that, I'm not gonna critique in that. And so things like the custom pens as well, like being worked into the landscape and that. It, and even just with, yeah, 16 corn bolts and that. 16, yes, but. How it is all being implemented? Again, things like houses on the cliff sides and that, or the hillsides. Okay, if you look that really close now, you can sort of see some very small blemishes, but for the most part, it is actually not that bad. You still have that immersion. Unlike with the map that came out earlier on this week that I didn't look at and that because I was ill on that. That broke immersions with how things like the tracks were laid out in that. But yeah, so I was like, these, these farms that do feel, feel quite big in that in a way. I'm not sure if it's just me or what, but they certainly do feel big, and yeah, this is going to lead up to the woodlands. And yeah, does this lead up to the fish farm? I don't think so. Do things so by the looks on the so yeah just leaving the farm now I think next what we'll do is head towards the fish farm which involves going around clockwise so, turns with this little pond lake area so nope not that way I think no I think it's Again, it's so easy to get lost in that, that's why, again, don't mind doing these jump, little jump cuts and that. But yeah, it's just getting lost, so... But then again as well, that brings the immersion to the map as well, like... Easy to get lost in that, and... Yeah, just immerse yourself with the landscape. So yeah, I think it's down here, yeah, down here, and then I think it leads to the road and that. That where we came from when we went up to the church. Is that the way? I'm not sure. Oh no, no, no. Roads here. 
maybe that could have led to the road and that, but so yeah, back onto the main road we were in that. So yeah, fish farming is going to be a little loop around, so I will show this bit of the journey. But then, I think as we go around and that, these little legs here and there, I will do little jump cuts and that. Again, try to keep the map tour down as concise, but I still want to show you just, yeah, but those views and that, like the rolling hills and that, nice undulations as well, even better than the one we just looked at, the other German map we looked at, even though it's Austrian, but yeah, German and Austrian is similar in some ways, apart from being two different countries. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I just offended both German, Germans and Austrians there. So yeah, just turning off here. Again, indestructible barriers and some to be mindful of. But yeah, this is going to be that little lane that leads you up to fish farming. Yeah, again, like the fill sizes are actually on that small now. Like, in contrast to what you would be using on this map, things like medium combines, like this, what was it, New Holland CH 7.7 now I think it is. Things like that, and just John Deere T, T series and that. But yeah, anyways, here we are at the fish farm. And yeah, there's nothing to say, you can't put this production on other parts of the map. Ooh, the old little air moment there. So yeah, this is going to be your sole point, and this is for not the fish farming, I don't think. No, this is your restaurant, which is a required mod. But yeah, so your fish farming production is here. We well, yeah, have a look here, shall we? 150 grand, so not too bad. And yeah, so it requires corn, mineral feed, wheat, potatoes, and barley. And you get fish, so 1200 cost per month. To run it, and you can get up to 12,000 liters of fish, but the ratios is 2, 4, 6, 8, 85 to 50, or what's that, 17 to 10, or 1.7 to 1. I think the ratio is so, yeah, extra 70% off feed to get one liter of fish. Yeah, I think that math is correct there. But yeah, 850 to 500 and divided by 5 in that, so... Actually, I do love that quacking sound. Can we actually see any ducks? No. Got little boats and that. No, it's more amplifies when you're like here and that. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Actually, I did enjoy that, like that fish farming area. But anyway, so we're gonna head back down. We're gonna head to the sawmill and the Alpine. Or Alp. So yeah, Alp. Not Alpine, Alp. Soul Point. And then from there, we'll head up to Farm 2. And then, yeah, we'll move way back around and back down, and that will be the map tour, I think. So, yeah, back on the road. So, yeah, our out cell point for, yeah, our, what was it, the out cell point for, but anyway, it's, it's here. We'll have a look at what it takes and that. So, yeah, there we go. Actually, I do like like the level of details for these cell points and that. But yeah, the Alp cell point, that's for like your bells and that, I think. Yeah, it ain't gonna be for your other stuff, I don't think. Yeah, Alps Country Trade, so yeah. Alps Purchase Bells. So yeah, that's gonna be here. So yeah, it's basically two cell points in one bell purchase and that. However, there is one thing I did notice, so let's go 
somewhere over here there was a weird clipping I had like with the building so go to was it Alpis Bell Purchase? Yeah. If you go to Alpis Bell Purchase you do get stuck in the building. So yeah maybe a small little update there with that but overall again that is a minor detail on that so minor detail but a detail nevertheless to worthy mention. But yeah, so back onto the road. You've got your saw, I should know what. We'll hop across to the sawmill and we'll join back there. So yeah, the sawmill is here. Basic, simple, basic gameplay stuff. <laughs> Nearly hit that. But yeah, we're head down here. Ah yeah, we're head up here now. Because yeah, this is going to be the road. That will lead us to Farm 2, how I will put it, or Farm 3 of the map tour. Ah, yeah, the turn in for it is. Yeah, just here. Yeah, well, yeah, there's like. Yeah, off to Farm 2, so yeah, I was correct of how I labeled it. That was just me just guessing on like, how I was like looking at maps first of all. But, yeah, again. I do love that landscape is oh, chef's kiss and that. And yeah, actually one thing I do love is how these bunker soils has been worked into the hillside. And that's not easy to do. I'll do that for sure and yeah, I was gonna again just have a quick look around the farm and that. But yeah, a lot of these are part of the required mod, so you may have seen these in separate mod reviews and that, but still, not too bad, not too shabby. Put your fermenter silos, your animal pens and that. So yeah, we'll head back down. Ah yeah, we'll rejoin the road. And I think for there is only a... Yeah, shop area will be the last area. But yeah, be onto the road, we'll loop around, head towards the sugar mill, and then, yeah, go back down and finish off at the, oh yeah, also, yeah, look at these areas, so yeah, dairy, oh yeah, it was secondary, because there is another dairy down here, but yeah, we'll finish off with looking around the shop area and your apple press area, including the ratios. So yeah, just came from around the hills and that, around the forest and that. But yeah, the sugar mill is down here. A path for it is just around here. See the path. Mind the barriers. <laughs> yeah, the path is just yeah over there. Yeah, simple ratios and that. Do love the automatic barriers though. And actually, I've just caught on to why, yeah, the base game stuff is put in here, like the production is that. Because I think, yeah, that ain't the same as the normal sugar mill, right? Them, them woods and that. I think that's more of a German, is it? I think so. That's probably why the map makers put the productions in and that. Even though it's the same as the base game, as in recipes and ratios, it's just uh, naming. Which, to be honest, is something I've overlooked at initially, but yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, I do love those sweeping fields as well, just. Yeah, no, it's not a square field in that, but it works with the landscape now, and I'm sure you can make a square field work to landscape in that, with some creativity in that, but. Yeah, and those bloody bar bollards. Not barriers, they're bollards. I know they're there for a reason, and in real life it makes sense, but for me, right now, <laughs> oh, it doesn't make sense, so yeah. We'll head across and down. And yeah, this is going to be our shop area and your app processing plan. 
And yeah, hopefully I'll get this map all as short as reasonably possible. Again, like, like how I do my map tours and mod reviews is I'll include all the details, like all the key details in that. And things like map tours, it's showing the same, don't show the same things over and over again. But, anywho, this is going to be your shop area now. So yeah, this is going to be including your spawn point and reset point. So yeah, your Agrar Verkstot. Verkstot? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try, but... So yeah, this is going to be your shop area, your reset point, and your repair trigger. Actually, I do like this little area, like how it's just popped up on top of a hill now. Again, it works that, and Austria is a very hilly place. Got your buy point for your Surrey and that. The bell cell point is over here. And it's still sort of a little cheeky loop around. So yeah, we head out of here. And then we we'll head down to your app processing area. Yep, yeah, let's not go that way. So yeah, your app all now is going to be so up and around, I think. So I'm look at the PDA, so... We left the shop here, so yeah, left and down. So you've got your biomass heating plant and all of that. So yeah, first of all, let's go to the biomass heat plant. But yeah, the custom traffic in that, actually I do like. Or is the biomass in that part of the other area, say the apple process in that we could be looking at? I think it is, but... Anywho, yeah, got your biomass processing plant. So yeah, Roy purchased that. As part of purchasing land, so yeah, your wood chips and straw can go now and be used. But yeah, let's go out of here and yeah, it's going to lead us towards our final destination of the map tour. Ah, yeah, again, I don't mean doing jump cuts or cutting across areas, it's again, it's how I do the map tours, and that is like I'm thinking, like, yes, this is how it looks like it's going to go. Also got some sheds that you can store stuff in that. But yeah, it's like, oh okay, this is this is gonna go here, here, and here, but then Yeah, I'm exploring the map at the same time as you folks, and yeah, this is my gym reaction. So yeah, another required mod is your fire and cell points. 40 grand, and this is a very good mod to have in that, so I do recommend that. Got your green meal over here. And yeah, so yeah, that's our full the yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna put it in the introductions, but yeah, it's the German naming that's being put down. But anyway, so finally you got your apple processing press or apple juice press. So yeah, you can get your apple juice, it's a one to one ratio. So yeah, overall not too bad, but yeah, again, with the very low output for your apple trees here, like, yep, yeah, 180, 90 litres a month, you're going to need a fair few trees, and yep, yeah, even then, so yeah, more trees than that, and I'm sure there's other apple mods than that, that's going to get you more than that, but yeah, apple juice, I forgot to look at that, but how much is that worth? So yeah, fire wooden pellets, that's part of requiring mods and that. Fish and that, actually, yeah, not too bad prices and that. Yeah, avoid the cell marking that, possibly in that. But yeah, apple juice, wow. Not too bad prices and that, but again, does make sense that because of how long it takes and that. Whoa, whoa. Alright, I did not expect that. Actually, off. I want to follow this. So that loops around. Let's play follow the leader. I think that's the same combine, the same 
two vehicles we saw earlier, right? Oh no, no, there was like a little mini at the front of it. Alright, I did not expect that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that is everything we've covered in that. Again, final thoughts on that, of the map. It's, it's a beautiful map. Again, picturesque, stunning, good level of detail in terms of landscaping. However, I am going to mark it down because of the required mods. Required mods, uh, yeah, 16, that's more than a handful, that is. Three hands worth of mods, with part of four. Three and a bit of a hands full, so... If it was five or less or so, five or six at most, I'll, again, with the other map I've looked at today, I did bring, <laughs> bring my rules on rating that. Yeah, just lost my train of thought there with that, but yeah, it's a lovely map. I do love the map. You do get lost, as I've shown, of getting lost around here and that. But yeah, again, do love the level details, picturesque in that. But yeah, I have to mark it down because of required mods. And yeah, overall, I say at a five, it's it's a solid. 4 out of 5 this map here, it's like, yeah, turn all that off, yeah, 4 out of 5 because of the required mods and that. If it wasn't for those required mods, this would be a 4.5 if not a 5 out of 5. Out of five. Yep, yeah, okay, compared to other maps like Court Farms and that, it's a different category of map. This ain't your typical UK or American map, this is a Austrian map. Which we don't really see many Austrian maps, so I do take that into consideration, but yeah, do I recommend this map? It's hard to recommend the map with 16 required mods, so on that part, no. But if you're willing to part with those 16 required mods, then yeah, sure, play it, and I do recommend playing it if you're willing to part with those map, those kind of required mods, but yeah, overall, that's it for the map tour. As always, hopefully you find this helpful and informative in some way, shape or form and enjoy this map tour. If so, smash that button, feel free to come down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be from our Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.